Hi, I'm James Davey. In this short video, we're going to be learning about the three types of breathing for singers. Let's think about breathing. Uh, there are three main types of breathing for singing. Uh, there is ceiling breathing, which uses just the small spaces at the top of the lungs. There is wall breathing, which uses all of the sides of the rib cage and all the muscles around here. And there is floor breathing, which is controlled by muscles that lie deep in the pelvis and kick upwards to control those short, sharp sounds that we make in singing, like accents and the starts of, of notes. So we're going to focus on the three types. The first one, then, ceiling breathing. We don't tend to use ceiling breathing very much uh, when, when we're singing, um, but it uh, provides a useful exercise for being able to get the vocal space ready. Okay? So ceiling breathing is short breaths here, like panting. So let's do some panting. Very good. That's just filling up these small spaces here. But panting isn't very good for the voice. If you can hear the air moving, then the likelihood is it's drying out the vocal folds. So um, what we're going to do is try to pant without making any noise. So we're going to take a vowel shape that we can use for this, which is uh, the vowel O, oh, as in the word hot. Could you say hot? Hot. hot. And find ho, ho. Oh. OK, so we're going to pant just air softly on an O. Oh. First of all, so we can hear if there's any breathing noises. Very good. Now, to stop the sound of the air, what I'd like you to do is to raise the roof of your mouth as high as you can. The bit we're looking for is called the soft palate, and it's the movable bit at the back of the mouth. So see if you can do it silently by making lots of space. Very good. So let's move to our floor breathing next. And we're going to start with what we call diaphragm kicks. Short, sharp kicks of air. Good, so with a letter F, just push the air out. Very good. We're going to try some rhythms. Good. Well done. We're really using the learning part of the brain already. Okay, so let's think about our wall breathing now. Um, so our wall breathing is um, uh, controlled by all of the muscles around the sides of the wall of the ribcage. Um, and to find uh, where those muscles are so we can feel them, we're going to put our hands there. So walk uh, with your thumbs pointing forwards. Please walk your hands up until you find the bottom of your ribcage. So your hands can just rest in that space. And I'd like you to make a good, strong sound. Very good. And you should be able to feel those muscles kicking out against your hands. Is that right? Let's try it one more time. Very good.